Hi everyone, and welcome back to the very first Sneaky Nutrition, well, kind of the, the return of Sneaky Nutrition, let's just say. I am super excited to bring this series back because it was so helpful to you guys and also really, really satisfying for me to do last time I did it, and it is going to give me some great reminders for my own life as well. So I am pumped. It is going to be a very, very practical series typically, okay? So I'm going to go straight for like product reviews, how to find the best chocolate bread, yogurt, all that kind of stuff. We're also going to go into some really cute little recipes and snack ideas and plant-based concepts for you to have a think about. Um, just lots of good stuff. And thank you so much for all of your questions. I will definitely go into some of the baby stuff you've asked too, things about how to create little finger foods for them that you can also eat. Uh, because let's be honest, baby finger foods are actually really healthy snacks for grown-ups too. So it's going to be helpful for everyone. But we are going to start the practical stuff from my, uh, or the practical to do to create stuff from my next post. I've reached out to some of my favorite little recipe creators for some great healthy snacks from them too. Um, I've got a whole bunch of my own I want to share, of course, but I wanted to start today with the three mindset switches that have really, really helped me stay on track as I've become a mama to Izzy and, you know, got caught up in the whole difficulty of running businesses at the same time as looking after babies at the same time as staying healthy and maintaining my sanity. Okay. So, um, keep in mind that I'm also a pretty terrible cook or at least a lazy one. So everything I do here and talk about is going to be easy. Uh, so look forward to that from next time. But here are my three mindset hacks, okay? One of them's from me, and the other two are from incredible leaders I know that you know too. They're pretty famous, actually, as it happens. So stay tuned for that. But the first one is going to be mine. And this has been, ugh, it's a mindset trick, but it also helps you to be very practical with your, um, your health journey and your food. Most of you know I am not about the extreme stuff. At points in my life, I've experimented with the extreme stuff and I've learned a lot from it, so don't be afraid to. I'm not saying it's bad, uh, but at this point in my life, I'm really busy. I need things to be um, easy, quick, and moderate. <laughs> and you know, I, I sit in that middle line. I'm not the person that's gonna tell you extreme one way or the other. I am the everyday person that's gonna tell you just how to be a little bit healthier and how to get that adding up, okay? Um, so here is my number one trick and it is 10%. Just focus on 10%. What the hell do I mean by that? Well, every time you look at a meal or a snack or a choice that you are making, just look at how you can shift it 10% to be 10% healthier or 10% better and more nurturing for you. So for example, I recently had a client who said to me, they're loving their two slices of tip top white bread with, uh, you know, baked beans on top. They don't want to change it. doesn't matter what healthy things I tell them to do. They're not going to do it because they just want that for breakfast. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But I'm not going to take your, your nurturing things away from you if you're a busy mum. However, I did question her as to how she could make that 10% healthier. So we brainstormed it. We came up with the fact that instead of two not very filling slices of white tip top bread, we could break that down to just one slice of a really whole grain rye based dark, dark and grainy bread. So one thick slice of a whole grain dark bread add the baked beans, but when heating up the baked beans in either the microwave or on a pan, I challenge her to add a couple of different types of veggies. So instead of just plain baked beans, add some spinach, add some asparagus, add some mushrooms or some broccoli, whatever it might be, just two types. So now instead of this kind of white, no nourishment bread with this kind of sweet baked beans, which do have a lot of good values too. There's lots of fiber in there and some protein too. Um, now we've got this grainy bread that's got lots of fiber and we've also got extra fiber from the veggies and extra nutrients. And suddenly this becomes a meal that is worth putting in your body that's going to pick your health up a little bit. Now, if you're just adding that to that breakfast every day, you're going to have X amount more fiber every day. You're going to have two serves of extra veggies per day, every day of the week. And all of a sudden that adds up. You know, we're supposed to have around five serves of veggies, which is about a half cup of cooked veggies per day. Suddenly there's one to two cups of that at breakfast, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's a little example. Another example, one of you actually asked this question, you know, you love healthy snacks, you're focused on, you, you love carbs, but the carb you were choosing was Jats crackers. Now, if you're having Jats crackers and cheese every afternoon, um, look, Jats crackers, 
I'm not going to poo-poo certain products, but let's just say the fried oily nature of them makes them not the best choice. To upgrade that snack choice by 10%, all you'd have to do is choose, uh, say, a rice cracker based on seaweed rather than table salt, so like a little seaweed rice cracker. You still have some of your cheese, but to some of those crackers, you might add hummus instead of cheese. Suddenly, you've got a little bit more variety. Perhaps you even chop up a few vegetable sticks, so you've got cheese, crackers, or just cheese, if that's what you want to do, um, with some vegetable sticks and some rice crackers. All of a sudden, that snack choice has been upgraded by probably more, a lot more than 10%, but you've chosen it simply by thinking, how can I make this a little bit healthier? Now, that 10% rule, the reason I love it is it's about swapping and it's about adding. It's not about removing and denying your body things, okay? It's just going, you know what? I feel like cheese and crackers. I'm not going to have my jazz. I'm going to have rice crackers and veggie sticks, add the cheese, add some hummus, whatever it is. Um, it's a healthy snack for you. It's a healthy snack for your kids. You're not doing that thing where you're like, oh, I can't have that. It's too unhealthy or I'm trying to lose weight. No, because that not only messes up, Millie said their food, messes up your headspace and puts you in this space of, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, it also messes up your kid's headspace. You know, the best thing you can do for your kids is embrace and love food for the healthy, energizing properties it has. Um, and the worst thing you can do for them is say, oh, you've got a great body and you should be healthy, but then I'm going to sit here eating my crap and talk about how bad my body is, okay? You need to, your kids will only ever have as positive a mind frame around food in their body as you have around yours. So it's it's really important. Look for the 10 percenters. Add, improve, stay curious. That's my tip. Now, here's another two tips from two people I love. The first one's really simple. It's from Paul Ruse, who's an incredible AFL coach and player. Um, one of the Aussie all-stars, you might say. Um, he said, don't forget that you're not just a person or a leader, you're actually a role model for someone in your life. Whether it's your kids, your friends, your family, your team, your business, if you're the business owner, you are a role model. So when you're choosing to show up to work without having exercised or meditated, eating a crap breakfast, feeling blah, feeling tired, scoffing down coffees just to keep up, um, what kind of a role model do you think that is as compared to someone who's got up, done a bit of a workout or, or you know, at least gone for a walk to their kids to school, whatever it might be, or done a meditation or whatever it is they're capable of doing that morning, um, or that goes for a walk at lunchtime, that's chosen to add a few veggies to their breakfast, that walks in energized and pumped and ready for the day. That is a role model. And so think of yourself as a role model, role, model, role model in whatever situation you put yourself in or you are in daily. Just remind yourself of that. Lastly, this tip is from Lane Beachley. Um, she came to Nurture Her Retreat, which is a retreat I run, business retreat and health retreat that I run in Fiji every year. If you're curious, go to at Nurture Her Retreat and check us out. Uh, but Lane Beachley, incredible world pro surfer, the best female surfer in all time, if you ask me. There are some young guns chasing her, nipping at her feet now, but uh, she's still the all-star in my opinion. Um, now, Lane has won an incredible amount of world titles, and she is someone that I think has had a pretty tough past and is pretty good at getting her mindset in check. Now, something she said to me that really hit home last year, and I've been putting this into my daily life for six months, and I've seen everything improve since I've been doing it from my business to my health, um, you know, to what I'm feeding my daughter, uh, is be very careful and considerate of the words that you put after the two words I am. So whatever you put after the words I am is very important because you are owning that. So if you get up in the morning and the first thing you think is I'm tired or I'm too busy to eat well or I'm just unhealthy, you're owning those words. And whatever you try and do with your actions, you're not going to follow through on it for very long because at your heart, you are owning words that are opposing what you want your actions to be. So for example, I was getting up in the morning because I have a daughter that doesn't really sleep and I was looking at myself in the mirror and going, I am tired. And what do you think that does to my whole energy? It brings it down. As soon as I forced myself to flip that, and even if I'd had a big night, I forced myself to, to flip that thought of I am tired to, no, I am energized to get to work today because, and I think the because is really important. I added that bit because um, it makes you think about why you are energized or whatever it might be. So I am energized to lead these sessions today because I love what I do. I love my job. 
you know, it's creative. I'm passionate about it. I love the girls I'm about to go and see. I want them to have a great experience. As soon as you flip that mindset, you kind of get pumped to get up and do what you need to do. I have not snoozed my alarm clock since that moment um, that I heard Lane say that. And it's also helped me to choose better food. So for example, Lane's little mantra that she uses whenever she starts to say, I am something that she doesn't want to say, she flips it to, I am fit, healthy, happy, and strong. That's her little mantra. I'm fit, healthy, happy, and strong. She is owning that. If she's fit, she's going to look for ways to get movement into her day, even if it's a 15-minute walk or a 20-minute walk in the middle of her workday. If she is healthy, she is saying, I am healthy. Then when you look at the salad bar or the takeaway joint or the shopping aisle and you think, I am a healthy person, um, the choices you're going to make are going to be different, whether you're thinking, I am tired, I am just you know, struggling, whatever. So I am a healthy, I am fit, I am healthy, I am happy. That's important because then you start looking for the little 10% ways that you can get your happiness um, into your day. So whether that is, again, you know, make choosing a salad because it's going to make you feel happier afterwards than choosing stodgy chips. You know, it can be as simple as that. Um, That's an important thing. And I am strong because we all come up, up against challenges in the day. So, you know, thinking to yourself, I am strong is a really good way to go. You know what? That's happening. That's kind of crap. But I am a strong person. So I'm going to look for creative ways to get around this. I am fit. I'm healthy. I'm happy. So I'm going to make choices that put me on the right track. So they're my three little mindset hacks. I want you to kind of to, to, I guess, absorb what you need from that. And all of them might not relate to you or or be applicable to you or or hit home. For me, those are the three things like looking for the ways that I can make each meal and snack just 10% better, looking for or remembering I'm a role model and then remembering that if I have that those negative words after the words I am, that that is me owning it. So I'm going to flip that immediately and I'm going to go into I am whatever it is. I'm healthy, I'm fit, I'm happy, I'm strong, I'm energized because um whatever it is, or I am a great mum because, because I think there's so many times in a day when you just feel like a shit mum. I mean, I do. It might be that I have to do a little bit of work. And so I let Izzy just sit in front of the TV for 20 minutes. And I think oh, I'm such a shit mum. What am I doing that for? But actually, no, you know what? I am a great mum, but right now I've also been a great business owner. I need to focus for this 20 minute. And then I'm going to give really great quality of time to my daughter. We're going to go outside, get some green time to reverse the screen time. Just reminding yourself that in every moment you are enough and you are doing your best and that is good enough. Um, but always looking and being curious about those opportunities to to improve your health, your well-being, um, your business, your mummy journey, whatever it might be. Okay, so stay curious, look for the 10 percenters, be the role model. Remember, I am the words after that are important and you might want to start with I am enough okay um you are awesome thanks for listening week one or day one sneaky nutrition I'll post a few per week so the next one will come out in another couple of days okay and it is going to be practical we are going to be talking snacks and really easy ones that you can grab and go and feel good about okay so see you here next time thanks for being enthusiastic about the return of this series and I will talk to you and see you soon